Okay guys, I just cruised up on a turtle. We're gonna check it out. I think it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a spotted turtle. Guys, check it out. This little guy here is just crossing the road. It's one of uh, the more uh, cold-natured of the North Carolina turtles. Um, they come out early in the spring. Sometimes you can see them out on warm days during the winter. And they're one of the last ones to go into a winter hibernation. Another interesting thing about this species here is this species is known for going into um, a summertime uh, toper or um, uh, estivation where it pretty much that's the equivalent of the summertime hibernation when temperatures get too hot this guy will actually hibernate or estivate through the the summer months and wait till it cools off again before it comes back out just a really awesome turtle something that's pretty neat about this turtle compared to other um, North Carolina specimen is North Carolina we have a lot of aquatic turtles and then we have the eastern box turtle which is the only land turtle but this guy is unique because he has claws or, or paws that are similar to um, a land turtle or a box turtle and it doesn't have the big webbed feet like most of our aquatic turtles a male you can tell because it has uh, an elongated tail and it has a uh, curvature here a concave shell the concave shell allows him to ride up on the back of the female during breeding the spotted turtle has seen significant declines over recent years this has led it to become listed as threatened and even endangered over much of its range Many states now offer protection under the law for these animals. They are currently being evaluated for federal protection. This dramatic decrease in numbers is due to several factors involving habitat destruction as they need a specific environment to live in. They love swamps and bogs. In addition to the habitat destruction, they are also very cute and adorable small little turtles that stay less than five inches in total shell length even as a full-grown specimen. This has led it to become very valuable in the pet trade. I really hope this animal finds a safe haven so that they can stick around for quite some time. They're very important to the environment and absolutely beautiful to see in their natural habitat. Guys, until next time, be kind to one another, be kind to the environment, always catch and release, and happy herping.